Now let's go for the next part. And let me inactivate all of these options. And let me go on camera option and get out of this space. And then by, by this option, you can move around the project by changing the camera uh, view. And just as you can see, by just uh, putting the shift plus the mouse keys there, you can change the view that you want. And this ability is like orbit that we had before. Let me, for, for example, focus. And then, as you can see, I will go on our orbit. And it will rotate around the project. And then if you choose this one and then go here, it will just rotate here like this. Like this. The next option that we have here, as you can see, uh, the name of that is FOV. So we can say that it's an option to control the view depth. Actually, by this slide, you can just uh, zoom in or zoom out the window that you want. Yes. Uh, that by replace, replacing you can just change the view that you want or even you can give number to it like this so by this option actually you can just change the view or just you want to have a kind of view depth zoom in or zoom out uh, the window that you want and by number this is like this The next options are orthographic and perspective. You know, orthographic makes you to see the objects by real measurements. But perspective causes that you see the objects, I mean the front objects, bigger than the objects that are in behind or back of the shape. You know, usually orthographic is really perfect in plans or views. If you just put it, for example, on orthographic and you come here, as you can see, you can see the under the, the building behind or back of the shape. But in orthography, you can go and plan and just uh, see it better. But they can really help you in some details and things that you need. But just uh, by default, it will be on perspective. Another point here is if you're on uh, orthography and you click on walk, it will automatically be like perspective. I mean, generally, uh, the option of walk will work just on per perspective mode. But you have to be careful about it. The next option, as you can see, is a line camera. And as you can see, it has some different options. And just if you put on different ones, you can change the border of the camera like X, Y, and Z, which is in downside of the window. And if you ha don't have this circle, I mean this border, you can go on view and then on this option. And as you can see, you can activate or inactivate this tool. So let me just be back here. If I choose a line X, it will be just set on X border. And also if I just set it on, a, on Y, it will be just set on Y border and just for Z it is like that. So let me just uh, return to perspective mode again. Actually we have another option here in the name of straight and just if you want to put your uh, shape in 3D view or just view. Uh, and then you want to set it with these different items or options. And as you can see, we made two view viewpoints. Well, of course, we will talk about them later. And if, if we want to set our camera exactly on upside of this view one, we can use this option. But actually, it's a lot similar to show title bar. But actually, I just set it on zero. That um, actually, it is just activated on walk mode. And if you just enter zero number to here, you can see the shape will be like this. So if you select and uh, show title bar, you will see a kind of bar here that you can change the view of your camera into down and up. Uh, like this. That actually, as you can see, we can change the view of camera in, a, in Y border. Like this. And actually, it is active. Uh, just when you press on walk button and if you want just to inactivate it you can come here in the position option you can just put the camera in every view that you want like this or in the option of look at you can just set the rotation of your view
and if it is on what icon just you can uh, by this option you can just check the rotation of your shape and actually if it is on walk option you can do you cannot control what you want and if you just select it you can do it actually we have another option here if you just look at this uh, option we have a full navigation and this window will be opened but actually you will have uh, zoom in and zoom out options you will have an orbit that you can rotate your shape also you will have a center that you can put the shape in center and the next option is walking that you can walk through your project by the keys of your keyboard uh, let me just uh, bring it again here and let me choose walk again and uh, by this way you can just use the keys of your keyboard up and down and you can move through your project and then as you can see actually you can just go left and side uh, left side and right side sorry and actually the uh, you can just move around the environment that you need uh, by the changing of the view of the camera and if your mouse cursor is like this you will see the up and down button and you can do it by your mouse cursor going down and up just uh, and actually um, if you just press plus on the keyboard it will just move a little fast as you can see actually the next item is look so you can see the rotation here that as if a person is standing here and can just rotate around the shape or just moving um, you know forward backward everywhere that you want and that person is following everything that it needs like a rotation going forward and backward let me choose what I'm gonna go more forward with a plus I can go faster you know the option of up and down can really help you in your project for example you want to go uh, upside or maybe upstairs or downstairs you can use these options a lot as an example let me just choose the walk option and go in, inside this environment for example let's consider this is space and by the option of orbit I can just rotate a little the shape and by pan I can just move a little uh, wherever I want and actually by the option of up and down I can just move through the stories uh, that are that we have in project but actually this is a really practical option for you that you are using in your work and project and also if you want to just sh uh, change the height of your project in one story or one floor you see the number of height here and by this tool just you can see the previous 3d things that you checked before and by choosing this option you will see a menu that have some tools for you but actually you can change the places of these options into the circle or will you can just use the options with the windows or for example the origin center that uh, it will stay and it will set on this mood so uh, let me return to default let me restore it and uh, actually we have some other options like level camera that you can change the view by leveling of that but actually here it will be stay on the down uh, side of the view and actually we have increased walk speed here it will tell you the increasing walking speed inside the and through the environment for you also the next one is decreasing of that and actually this is the steering wheel options that by this window you can change the settings of the steering wheel I'm not going to talk a lot about this right now. It has, for example, some walk speed. As you can see, you can change the speed of your walking. Or, for example, show tool messages. It is completely clear that how you have to do it. And these options are just, as you can see, help and close it. Let me close it now.